Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well we were inside the uh, 65 Mustang here and uh, I was trying to put the seat in and as you can see maybe or maybe not I was having problems with it and uh, part of the problem was is that I can get this one to kind of go where it needs to go but when I push this one when this one goes back this one should also be able to come back now it doesn't usually spring so then I was messing with this and that comes out and I can get it to come back now that I got this all the way down and uh, this should be all the way down I'm gonna have to grease these up as well but right here in the middle of these yeah this was loose and uh, so I realize if I pull on this I have a feeling not only probably did it stretch out over the years but it was probably bumped around quite a bit and who knows what one of my kids might have found this and loosened it up when they were younger who knows but anyways if I pull on that and get it kind of so it's tight when I do that I should be able to pull up and down so I'm hoping like I said this one this one just goes when you push on it with your butt um, this one does the automatic back and forth to help you out so but regardless this is what I uh, am doing the video on as far as this part right here there's one other adjustment on these seats besides that that you may not know about this is one I actually did know about and have used quite a bit in the past and that is this right here it is a screw and or a bolt it's got a, a nut basically and on the inside of it it's got kind of a pointy thing I don't know why it's pointy other than to help get it in there and I just lost the there's also a washer that I need to get but anyways it's kind of a pointy looking thing here but otherwise it's just a a bolt with a nut on it so that you can adjust kind of where your seat back goes back in and uh, back and forth quite honestly um, I like it all the way back when I'm driving so in my car I will probably take this thing out depending on how it feels in there and stuff like that but for now I'm just gonna bottom it out as far as I can bottom it out and uh, put it back in there for now so I don't lose it and uh, there should be right here a little plastic thing I don't know if you can see that but there's a little black plastic thing that's in, held in here as well and that's for that bolt to sit on and uh, one last note about these keep in mind these are going to come out again so I'm not bothering cleaning these up at some point these are going to be completely taken off cleaned up refurbished and put back on but right now I just want to get them functioning and uh, I'm using the T9 bow shield I show this product they do not pay me they're not a sponsor wish they were but it is an awesome product it works very well and the best thing about it is it although it goes on it doesn't make a huge mess it doesn't stink and it doesn't get greasy and grimy and dirty it doesn't attract the dirt, dust and dirt now as far as does it hurt your vinyl and upholstery that I can't tell you you have to do your own research on that quite honestly yet again most all of this is going to be redone at some point and I don't really care that much as you can see no, that stuff works fine yeah, I barely... That just proves it. This stuff just works regardless. Now, let's see here. Let's see this one. I put it in there. So probably not able to help. This one. Let's see. I can, can you see that? This one I can. It goes back good, but I can barely move it forward. And it kind of gets stuck. You see that? there goes my light I want to do this all in one shot so that you guys don't think I spent hours trying to tell it show you it wasn't working so I'm gonna keep it going I'm gonna go tap my light
set for a little while now but this one's even harder than the other one but as you can see that works good this stuff just works so one other note here on these seats this car only has uh, 81,793 miles on it. Believe it or not, I've owned it for most of its life, actually, probably now, I don't know. I've owned it for over 25 years. But it's and been in our family for over 40-something years now. Um, so, th it's the original miles. It's 081793. So, take it for what it is. And So, I couldn't tell completely from just the wear on the seats of which one was driver's side. Um, so, I went and actually looked. And I looked at, couldn't figure it out. Still even kind of looking on, on Google. So, I looked at pictures of a whole bunch of 1965 Mustang interiors. And the one thing that kept happening is the chrome is actually on the outside, on the door side, and no chrome on this side. And that's the other thing that was getting me. I would think maybe the chrome would be over here because most people, you look through the window at the interior, but they wanted that open door shot, so they put the chrome on the outside to look pretty. Regardless, I got the seat in. It is functioning now. Um, nicely, by the way. Um, and I'm ready to go. And if you want to go watch some other interior stuff on this particular rig, I just put that in, which is kind of fun. A lot more work to go, but we're a little bit closer. Right. Well, that was supposed to be a quick little bit, although I had lightning issues, as you saw there at the end. Uh, I got quite a few parts for it now. We can start putting on and, and start doing some things, so hopefully we'll get it at least running by next summer. I don't know if it's going to be completely drivable and on the road, but at least running, hopefully. So if you would like to watch more on this Mustang, check out my Back on Track Mustang for my 65 Mustang here playlist. Um, got several videos and a lot more coming up. All right. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and hopefully you go enjoy those as well. Thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none. You all have a good one.